started the Joy Bus because of my friend Joy, who passed away a couple years ago. It was something that I was doing for her, just sort of to sustain, sort of to supplement what she was already getting from her family. She had a really awesome husband, awesome son, great best friend who took really good care of her. So me just bringing her little treats was just kind of just a bonus. And I realized at that point that there was a lot of people out there that didn't have that support system. And so I decided to create the Joy Bus. She thought it was awesome. She was a rad human. Like, she was a super cool human being. Total giver. Like, this is right up her alley. She was stoked. Right now, we have about 10 volunteers um, who consistently sign up to help us deliver meals. I feel blessed to be able to be a part of it. and. I just hope that um, more people can see the impact that um, Jennifer and her team of people, her organization, and all of her volunteers are bringing into the community. I love it. I get so much from the people I deliver to. I get hugs and I make them happy and it makes me happy. And it's a need that the community doesn't provide, but Jennifer does it. The people that we deliver to are extremely courageous, gracious, and appreciative of what we're doing for them. It, it really is one thing that these patients look forward to each week, and it's something that's truly good for them. And I think people you know, can kind of say the cliche, food feeds your soul, but in the Joy Bus's case, it really does. We donate uh, vegetables to her every week, whatever she wants, and it never seems like she takes enough, but uh, we donate the vegetables from the farm so that it would be fresh. It's always a good feeling, of course, to know that something that you can do actually helps somebody else. But it's healthy, it's organic, it's flavorful. You wouldn't even imagine that someone would be so caring that doesn't even know you yet. They just, you could tell that there's so much food and love or love in the food and that there's love whoever comes by and visits Marcus and all, I'm sure all the rest of the patients they just take their time and hang out. I do have a few favorites. I, my, I like the shrimp that I once got and I also like, I did get purple potatoes but um, there were different potatoes that I liked that I liked even more that were kind of like, uh, what were they? They were like um, Smashed potatoes. No, those were the purple potatoes. They were um, like, they were cut up. I think they were like sauteed potatoes or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and the, I like those too a lot. I decided to sort of reach out to just people in the community to see if they would decorate the bags. I started with the youth group at my church and then we found a couple schools around that would start doing them. The ones that we delivered this week were done by Mr. Edwards first grade class at Madison Simus. Um, I think like one person even like either wrote a note mm -hmm. I th either on the either on the bag or eat or in my lunch. I, but I wasn't sure but I know it was a lot. I know. So that was that was really nice too. It's like the whole community is part of the Joy Bus, which is what I wanted it to be. I want it to be for the community, by the community, and it's, it's totally turning into exactly what I dreamt it would be. I think the next step is just to build the Joy Bus and expand the network of volunteers and you know, get more fundraising, more money from corporate partners and generous donors throughout the Phoenix area. It's become a full-time position. Unfortunately, I have to work another full-time position to support it, but it, it is ever-consuming. It's a daily feat. Our biggest need at this point is funding. Right now, every time that we do a newspaper, every time a newspaper article comes out or we do a segment on TV, we get about five more people that need our service and a $20 donation. We need this in order to be able to not only provide the meals that we're currently providing, but to grow to where we need to grow to. There's 10,000 cancer patients right now in Maricopa County. We need to be out there providing the food to help these people. It's just a gift and it gives you just a sense of um, just 
fulfillment just to see that people are willing to come to you not even knowing you. And they spend all the time and the effort and just the love, which is I would say the exact same thing, but even though I don't even know what fulfillment means. Fulfillment. (laughs) Speaking of food, when can I have my snacks?